Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to discuss on how to write expressions with rational exponents to radicals and vice versa. If m over n is a rational number and a is a positive real number, then a to the power of m over n will be equal to n truth of a to the power of m equals quantity of n truth of a raised to the power of m, provided that n truth of a to the power of m is a real number. And here, in the exponent here of the base, so m, the numerator will be the exponent of the base, then the denominator will be the index or order. So for example here, number 1, 3 to the power of 2 over 3. So if we're going to rewrite this one to radical form, this will be the exponent of the base 3 and this will be the the denominator will be the uh, index or order so you can write that one as this is the order so cube root of 3 squared this is the exponent so 3 squared is 9 so we're going to have this one as cube root of 9 and number 2 6 to the power of 1 half so this is the exponent, this is the index, we're going to have that one square root of 6 to the power of 1, or simply square root of 6. Then number 3, 5 raised to the power of 3 fourths, this is the, the exponent, this is the index, so this, are, this is equal to 4th root of 5 cubed. Then 5 cubed is 5 times 5 is 25. Then 25 times 5, that will be 4th root of 125. Then number 4, 2n or quantity of 2n raised to the power of 3 over 5. So we are going to have that one as 5th root of 2n cubed. Then applying here law of exponents, so you can just have that one as fifth root of which is 2 cube, then times n cube. So 2 cube is 8, so we're going to have fifth root of 8 n cube. Square root of 3, so the exponent here is 1, then the index here is 2, so you can just write that one as 3 to the power of 1 half. Then this one, uh, 4th root of 8 n to the power of 6. So we're going to make the 2, 8 and n to the power of 6 the same exponent. So we're going to have 8 as 2 cubed, then n to the power of 6 as n squared cubed. So if we're going to look at here, they are raised to the same power, which is 3. So we can just have that one as 4th root of uh, 2n squared cubed. Then if we're going to rewrite this one to exponential form, this is the exponent, this is the base. So we're going to have that one as 2 n squared raised to the power of 3 over 4. Then number 3, fifth root of 27 over 64. So 27 and 64 are perfect cube. So we can have that one as fifth root of 27 is 3 cube. Then 64 is 4 cube. Then we're going to have this one as 5th root of, since they are raised to the same power, so we can write that one as 3 over 4 cube. Then rewriting this one to exponential form or, or expressions with rational exponents, we can have that one as 3 fourths raised to the power of 3 over 5. I hope this video helped you. 
If you have questions about the topic, please comment down below and see you next time.